it's Sarah. So tonight I have a couple things I want to talk about, but first I would like to talk about, um, you know how people alter these composition books? Well, Ephemera's Vintage Garden had specifically created this pattern paper here for to do that, to make an alter composition book. And I love these papers, so I got the download and I got all ready to do it. And I went to the dollar store and I got my, my marble composition books. And I came down here and I got it and I put it on here and it didn't fit. I think it's about at least a half an inch too big. So these are nine and three quarters by seven and a half. And anyway, I, this is nine and a quarter by seven by seven. Anyway, I will find something else for these papers, which I've already used um, them for other things like tags. I did my little um, Prima doll tags with them. But these are just from the dollar store. They're composition books. So what I wanted to do was, um, I take notes a lot when I watch the videos on YouTube. So I have like several different notebooks all over the place. So I just like, like here, this one has like the measurements for the stick pin holders I made. What is this? This is just like a hat pin, hat pin holder measurements. Like I have random papers all over the place and I just wanted to put everything in one place. So that's what I thought I would do with the um, composition book. So I used, again, I used the um, Once Upon a Time stack from Die Cuts with a View. And there's just a castle in the background. And I put one of the Prima Girls. When I made the tags, I said they deserve to be on the front of a... Uh, of a scrapbook or something and they're because they're so pretty and I put you know I pet I paper pieced her little dress and her crown again and I just put some flowers I fussy cut out some of the paper to match and I think it turned out really cute I put some extra flowers here and not too much just a little lace um, but inside what you do is well I covered the um, the backing and the but my husband said, but there's too much room there. You left too much room. And I said, but you, if you don't leave that much room, you won't be able to close it. Now, Ephemera's Vintage Garden has a tutorial for it. And they do put a little, um, she puts a couple eyelets and ties it with ribbon. So I think I'll end up doing that too once I filled it. Because I think it'll um, end up getting pretty filled with stuff. Because I'll show you. So you create these sections. I don't know if I'm, I'm not really able to show this. Maybe I should raise my tripod. The, um, you take a piece of paper and you stick it down to one of the pieces of the um, note, notebook. That's your back. And then you put a piece of um, the pattern paper on the front. So you make a pocket. So what I'm going to do is, and then I, put a, I actually put a little tag pocket on the back here with some of the paper. Eat, and then I've made it into like sections and she put tabs on her sections too so that you could have like tabs which I might do that too um, but the first section I kind of I, I wanted it to be nice so I didn't know what to put yet so I just left that then I just put kiss a frog there and inside here I put some of the tags that I had played with these were just I found these in a drawer the other day so I'm not sure what I was doing with them but I just figured oh I'll put them in there and then I'll figure it out later because what I put on here was the Thinking Inking Tutorials by Jennifer McGuire that Two Peas in a Bucket had. And it's like a little series of, it's usually featuring the Ranger and the Hero Arts products. So different techniques. I know this was one of them because they used um, Perfect Pearls, stamping with Perfect Pearls and stuff. So I know there's a glare, but I it just matched the page like with the green. So I just put it in there. Um, but anyway, so I have all that. I recopied it down. So now I have that in a specific place. I know where to find it. And the next section, I put princess. And there's there's more room there. This is the envelope mini album series by Kathy Orta. I just, I kind of made enough. So I've made so many now that I really know how to make them. I, I can kind of assemble the pages without looking. But some of the measurements in here, I just want to, you know, be sure of. And I mean, maybe I'll get away from it for a while and I'll forget. So I just wrote it again. Um, the vertical paper bag mini series. 
by my sister Scrapper. I wrote that down and it's mostly just measurements. I'm going to have to rewatch those videos because like when I'm watching the videos I make them the notes very rough. So anyway, then over here I just in this pocket here that just says dream I had um I think I'm going to go and I'll make some notes about this metal techniques, the metal techniques that I was playing with the other day or, or it was just a place to keep them, like to keep the little pieces that I have played with and stuff. So anyway, so, and I have one more, there's one on the back too. So I don't know, I think, oh, here's, here's one of the tags that I made with the ephemeris vintage garden paper, um, which I really love. I wanted to make a steampunk tag with that. So anyway, and then I just covered it on the back and I think it turned out really cute. So, um, I know there's been swaps on these and everything and I'd never done one, but I actually really just wanted to use it for myself. So I went ahead and did it, and I'm just still into these paper doll um, stamps, and she fits on the cover so nicely. So I did that, um, and I think that's all I'm going to say for now in this video, because I have something else I need to share in another video. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.